In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite plays in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you don't know what I do here on YouTube, every single day I post four Madden 21 tips and tricks on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. We post new videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I also live stream every single day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and answer your questions. So if you'd come hang out at the stream, I'd really appreciate it. But also, if you would subscribe, it's completely free. It helps out the channel a ton. And from the research that I've got back on the data, only 40% of the people that actually watch my videos are actually subscribed. So uh, we need to get the rest of you 60 percenters subscribed to the channel. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you don't like enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Okay, guys. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today is the gun bunch out of the Washington, uh, the Washington football team's offensive playbook now uh, this gun bunch is actually very my opinion unique and the number one reason why you would call this gun bunch is for this specific play um right here it is the play clear out fln this is one of the best plays in madden 21 and you might know about the fact that the pro player um michael skimba one of my favorite personal favorite players to study and to and to learn from runs this specific offense and he runs it really really well so i'm not going to run it as good as he does but i hope to talk about it a little bit today and just share with you some of the things that i do and why i really enjoy this play now this is probably the best cover three beater um at least one of the best cover three beaters in madden 21 because of the power of this now you do need hot route master the one thing that i would also recommend when you're running this play is you want to make sure that you're running your gun bunch to the wide side of the field so the bunch receivers needs to be on the wide side of the field the adjustments to this play is actually really really simple um pretty much all we're going to do and i want to first show this to you against cover three um but basically all we're going to do is we're going to put brown on a corner route and then from there what i like to do is take if they're playing man coverage i'll leave this route to mike evans if they're playing zone coverage then i'll take mike evans and simply put him on a uh, a slant or a or maybe like a little in route or drag route. One of the other things I really like to do with the back is put him on a block and release hook route. I think this does really, really good uh, and gets really good separation if they're in zone and if they're in man, you can play make of the route. But all you're gonna do is motion this receiver out to the right. And as you see, this is gonna be one of the best cover three beaters you'll ever see in Madden. As you can see right there, Skimbo doesn't disappoint with one of the best cover three beaters that I've seen personally all season long. Now, you might be asking, well, what if they flip their cover three defense, right? What if they flip their cover three and their safety is on the bunch side? Because this is what I would recommend if you were facing this is this would be like the first step that I would take to try to stop this. And what you'll see is it does do a little bit better of a job against this, but because it's a wiggly fade and because that tight end is pushing the interior, like the pushing the middle of the field, then it's going to pre it's going to basically create a little bit of a problem for the defense even if um even if their cover three is on the right side of the field so you'll see here this cover three is basically on the right side of the field but you'll notice that if they run cover three they're going to get absolutely exposed with this route combination because of this fade route coming from the outside slot receiver as you can see right there one play touchdown wide open so you have that opportunity now, the way that they're going to be able to stop that cover three bomb is they're going to have to put their outside corner in a deep half. And I want to show you what happens when you put your outside corner in your deep half. Basically, what he's going to do is he's going to run back. Um, he's going to try to go get this, this wiggly fade. And as you see here, if I try to bomb it, there's really no window to throw it. Although somehow I magically completed that. There's really no window to throw this ball. But, however, one of the things that has opened up now that they've began to deep half their outside guys is they've actually opened up this corner route even more so this corner route is now going to absolutely torch um the cover three coverage on the sideline as you can see right there even with a 20 yard purple zone going to that side of the field now really quick before i get into the rest of the coverages that this play is really good against i want to quickly highlight my text message membership for you guys now my text message membership is completely free and basically what it is is it's a free um free membership that i offer my youtube subscribers or youtube members and all you have to do to sign up for it is just shoot me a text message now you might be asking well what's in it for me well what's in it for you is every single week i release a free full offensive or defensive scheme of the week to you that is basically a high level 
scheme that you can run in Weekend League or you can run in the MCS. You can run really at all levels of Madden and have a lot of success with these full schemes. So in the past, we've broken down the Carolina Gun Bunch. We've broken down the the um, Strong Clothes. We've broken down the Minnesota Vikings Trio. We've broken down some defenses as well, like the Big Nickel Over G. Um, we're probably going to do a defensive series or defensive video this week, which will be really, really good because we just released a defensive ebook. Um, so a lot of good stuff uh, in that membership. They're completely free. And no matter when you sign up, you get all the videos as soon as you sign up. So all you got to do is just shoot me a text. My phone number is 812 216 three six four four now here's real quick before we um, go any further it is my personal cell phone number so forgive me if it takes me you know a little bit to get back to you I read every text that I get and respond to every text I get so you know just so you know that I gotta work through that stuff as I possibly can so as fast as I possibly can so just know that I'm trying um, with that we have uh, grown to a point where um, it's become a little bit it's taken me a little bit longer to respond to people but I try to get back to everybody within at least 24 hours so you know, just be aware of that. But we do have a lot of people on the list, and we've been able to help a lot of people with this. So, uh, really excited to continue to be able to do this for you guys. All right, now back to the video. So, um, what? So, what's going to happen is they're going to then begin to have to kind of go into their bag of tricks, and you know, really try to do something right. Because what you're able to do with this is, if they deep half this corner on the right, what you'll notice is you typically are going to be able to hit this corner route to Antonio Brown right when he cuts to the outside, especially if you run this to the wide side of the field. So this creates a little bit of a dilemma for the defense, and what they might do is they might run some type of cover two defense on you. So if they run cover two defense on you, in my opinion, this does kind of okay against this, but just notice that this wiggly fade, you see he does not get open against a Tampa 2 style of defense. So that is where um, you know I would recommend using this corner route or the route to Rob Konkowski. When they start to deep half, you'll see that because you're on the wide side of the field, he's got a little bit longer and a little bit more room to get kind of work a little bit. So he can potentially get over that deep or that cloud flap. But if he doesn't, if he, if you're having any bit of trouble with the with the cover two defense, that's where this route to Mike Evans will come in. You'll see here he's going to go to the outside, just like that, and I can hard pass lead this, click on, and try to aggressive catch that against the cover two. Now, cover two, in my opinion, does really, really good against this specific play in particular. But the one thing that they have to watch out for is over the middle of the field. Uh, and that's where the block and release hook to your user and all of these things are going to be really effective because against the cover two, and of course I get a nice little throw out of sack, Gronkowski is going to get behind the cover two, deep the cover two coverage uh, most of the time. The other thing is this is where you're going to mix in this verticals play uh, this verticals play is super, super effective against cover two. You're just going to let that guy get out there. And basically, if you're throwing this to the wide side, you should be able to hit this hard right side pass lead to Godwin right as soon as he gets over the cloud flat uh, for, a deep, uh, for a deep pass. Another thing that you can do is let's say you're playing a lot of cover two, right? You could do something like this where you put a skinny post out there to the left side receiver. And now what that's going to happen is it's just going to give you another option uh, against this coverage and right there I threw that just a little bit early but cover two by and large in my opinion is the one coverage that I think gives this playbook a little bit of trouble um, just on this specific play and that's where you have to have answers for it you have to understand that and you have to kind of have a plan for okay what if they run cover two you know what do I do in that situation what I like to do is just pass lead up the corner route I think that it typically will work um, especially if you don't motion him out against the cover two but the other thing that I like to do against cover two, and I know it sounds super, super, super simple, but I'm going to run a curl flat concept to the left side. And I know it sounds so basic and so simple, but you'll be surprised at how well that curl flat concept will work to the left side of the field. I just got to make sure that that guy doesn't go um, in that vicinity. So, you know, basically curl flat concept with the, with the back there. And you can put him on a little shoot flat if you want to get him out there just a little bit quicker. But as you can see right here, just a little low ball to Mike Evans, and you're going to have a lot of success with that against that coverage. So you have answers for pretty much everything the defense is going to try to do. Now, if the defense tries to go with a cover four style of coverage, 
Um, that also does a decent job. This is primarily a cover three type of play if you read cover three. But against cover four, you're going to be able to hit your corner route. As you can see right there, Brown's going to be wide open. Um, so you're going to be able to consistently move the ball down the field with this play. And then if you mix in this verticals play at the right time, you're going to find a lot of success with this offense. This offense is super, super powerful and really, really effective, both against cover three or cover four, cover two. But the big thing is that cover three bomb, probably far, probably the best cover three beater uh, in Madden 21, at least this year. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now, real quick before we jump off here, uh, we have three more videos coming for you today. We have one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We are also doing our live draft for our PS4 online CFM. So if you want to come hang out with us and talk the draft, or if you want to be a part of the franchise, go ahead and shoot me a text message as well. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. But we'll be live on YouTube at 10 o'clock. And real quick, I haven't talked a lot about this, but my commitment to you guys as a channel, been really appreciative of the growth that we've had and just really appreciative of the community that we're starting to build here. My commitment to you guys is that I will stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time for the remainder of 2021 so we're all in on you guys we're all committed to you guys and uh, i will be streaming every single night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time we missed a couple streams in 2020 in 2021 my goal is to not miss a single live stream so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock